the Senate Judiciary Committee, held a, held a hearing essentially on uh, what the left wants to call us as book banners, so on book banning. But I'll tell you what, Bill, after here, we'll, we'll play some of the comments in a second, but after hearing some of the explicit words that are being put in front of our children, uh, maybe book banning, after all, isn't a bad idea. What do you think, Bill? Well, I, I, I still think book banning is a bad idea. Right, of course. What I, what I am opposed to is inappropriate books being read or available to children at, at certain ages. Uh, the book Gender Queer was by the author who, who came out earlier today. He said that book was never intended for young children. That book was intended for actually for parents to let them know about their child. But somehow the left has latched onto this book, brought it into the realm of, of, of young school age children, you know, fourth graders, or sixth graders, and made it uh, made it a book that they can take out on their own at, at, at the at the request of nobody but the child or the librarian. And then they try to sell it to us as we, as the right trying to ban books. Well, we're not trying to ban books. What we're trying to do is to keep some books out of in, inappropriate places. And that's the misnomer there. I think we have to get off that banning book thing. Print the book all you want. Let the book survive on its own if it can. But let's not ban books at all. But stop telling me that I want to ban books because I don't want a book like that being in the front of a fourth grader. Yeah, it's just a fake fake news uh, word play by the left. Of course, we have movie ratings, right? We have X-rated, R-rated that young kids can't see. Right. Essentially, right. that's what we're saying. These are X, essentially X-rated books, right. and they shouldn't they shouldn't be in in public school libraries. That's up to parents if they want to show them. Uh, Ken, um, uh, we're going to play the details in a minute. H had you heard? Some of the detailed description in, in these books before you saw this video that we're about to play from Senator John Kennedy from Louisiana? Yes, I have, and I have my own comment on it. Let's take two books that have been much discussed. Um, the first one is called All Boys Aren't Blue. And I will quote from it. I put some lube on and got him on his knees. And I began to slide into him from behind. I pulled out of him and kissed him while he masturbated. He asked me to turn over while he slipped a condom on himself. Wow. This was my ass. And I was struggling to imagine someone inside me. All right, I, I'm not. You get the gist. Uh, yeah. this is on yeah. and on, page after page. Um, Ken, uh, a prominent national guest I had on yesterday, James Lindsay, said that scenes like this have to be repeated in school committees, town councils, and other elected official chambers across America. We have to show them, not just tell them about it. We have to show them what's happening in our schools, and our middle schools even at this. Your comments, Ken McCourt. All right. It's not about the First Amendment freedom of speech. Each community establishes what they call a community standard for the definition of pornography. That's what this is. And as such, they determine what can and cannot be bought or sold in their community with certain physical guidelines like not within 100 yards of a school, for instance, but that there are laws that the individual states, the individual counties and towns have passed laws against pornography. That's what this is. And it's a perverted pornography also. So that there are laws on the books. We don't have to create any kind of new uh, congressional hearing or anything. There are already laws on the books that we're not stopping the banning of the books and stuff like that. We're not stopping it. We're just limiting its distribution. That's that's absolutely key. 